Hey, welcome to Uzulu video video. Welcome to Uzulu channel today. Today we're going to be attempting to change the fuel pump on a 2010 Ford Fusion. Um, I looked online and haven't seen too many videos on this, so I figure I'll attempt to make a video on it. Um, we'll just we'll try. I haven't did one on on a Ford Fusion before. I did it on the uh, Fox by the Mustang stuff like that, and we got to drop the tank. So. We're going to attempt to do it, and then we'll show maybe what tools we need to, to do it as we go. So this video is just not going to be planned, you know, like, hey, we need this. We're just going to make it on whim, and hopefully this video will help you with whoever want, needs to replace their fuel pump. It's a whole unit, too. And I had to order it through Amazon. Amazon was the cheapest that I found. There's two companies that have this uh, fuel pump on there. I'll have the link below. I mean, a lot, a lot cheaper. AutoZone and other places like that wanted over $200 for this pump and plus you had to order it I got this pump for like $66 and they had another one that was a little cheaper um, but I asked questions on it and they were a little bit behind on answering the questions so I ordered this one instead but then that other company finally did answer back and this fuel pump is the whole unit and, and it has the fuel pump in it so we'll take a look at it right here this pack is real nice they have it right here and that's it so well let's get going we're gonna have to take the seat out because the pump what's nice you don't have to drop the tank so uh, i like the fox by the mustard then but let's go um show you how to take the seat off so what we're gonna do is get the, the seat off right here i know i need a vacuum i do detailing videos but i don't do my own re vehicle inside coming up there's a clip right here you pull up you can see it it'll be on both sides i have the kid do it you want to go in the middle it's like right here there's a clip you pull it up there in the middle you feel it it's like right here it's like no we're not right here There you go. So you got it. There we go. I'm gonna probably vacuum first. There's pretzels in here. <laughs> All right. And then I believe is there another one in here? There you go. Wow, I got a really vacuum. Dang. It's trash. I've got this car from my brother, so my niece and nephew trash it. So let's vacuum this real fast. But this is where the pump's at, right here. And then we'll show what tools we need to go do it. All right, and first too, before we get going with this, we should disconnect the negative side on the battery, which we're gonna do now. Well, we gotta clean so we're gonna go eight millimeter to take off uh, the negative. So it's gonna be eight millimeter. So you guys will know. We'll let the kid do it. All right, we'll continue to set up and try to make this video uh, not too long. Okay, to get this uh, cover off, it's gonna be seven millimeter. We're just using a small one. It's not on there real tight. Don't lose your bolts. Gonna put it over here by the mat. Seven millimeter. We're not professional mechanics. Just like if we can fix it ourselves, we're gonna try it and save money. Just like driveway auto detailing. We can driveway mechanics. Well, yep. Okay, got the, all the bolts out. Gonna take the cover off. Remember, this arrow is gonna go back the same way. There it is. There's the old dirty pump. Just put the vacuum away. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna vacuum up <clears throat> some of that dirt a little bit real quick <clears throat> and then take off these connections. <clears throat> All right, now to take out your connection, you're gonna have, it's already, we already got it out. It's a little struggle, but there's a tab here and then here. What you can do is you wanna squeeze them both at the same time and just pull up. You're gonna have to wiggle a little bit and then it will come off. Now in the fuel line, we already have it disconnected. Make sure you have a rag by you. And then what you're gonna wanna do is get a small screwdriver. And then on the one side, you see this clamp. You're gonna pull up through here 
and get that to open like this because it shuts and then and then there's another tab here you just press in a little bit be careful not to break it you don't want to use too much force and just get it in a little bit pull it out and then you get a little gap right here between your clamp and your holes and just take a small screwdriver dig it in there and pull it out and that's and then just pop this out a little bit of fuel pressure will come out from it that's how it got off now we got to get this this ring out which is going to be basically use a chisel and a hammer and then try to and work its way out and that's going to be a little tough because it's old so and then another thing too make sure you want you're doing this in a ventilated area keep the doors open because we're dealing with fuel so try to work as safe as possible all right now we're going to just try to get this out it'll probably be a little struggle sorry about that <laughs> on the ring it's counterclockwise counterclockwise guys to uh get this ring out which is a little struggle pain we'll keep going k2 to get it off we got it off got a bigger uh chisel hit it like right here and i had to get a bah right here and then just give it a good whack and it comes right off i got a little bit of fuel in it so it popped up the pump so hopefully i can get the float right um the directions say i looked online to try to have the tank empty as possible there's not that much fuel in it but we'll just have to make it work if i have to readjust it when the tank's empty then so be it um i just don't want it breaking down on me driving to work and stuff like that so all right we'll take this out okay we're pulling out yeah it'd be better not to have no fuel in it i'm gonna drain some of the fuel man there's not no fuel much fuel on the gauge I got all kinds of fuel it'd be best to try to do it at uh, the fuel tank empty but hey sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do It is draining the fuel out of the old pump. So far by looking at this, this looks like the new one. The new one looks like the old one, I mean. I'm hoping this is the problem. The car, it's not all the time. It would just shut off as driving and I'm not getting a cold. So I'm assuming that it's the pump since this car is a 2010 and plus it's got 170,000 miles on it. So and then I did change the oil the other day in it. And then I had the car running and I just, you know, just listening for noise underneath the car. And um, I was hearing a, a decent humming noise coming out from the pump. So it might be the pump just getting weak. And then there it goes. All right, let me drain some more of this fuel because there's fuel that holds in the cup. But that's about it. But... Okay, now we're going to compare them both from the Amazon one that I got. Amazon, the new one, they're identical. That's awesome. Because it's hard to get any information on what pump to buy on these vehicles right there. So the link I have will be in the description below. So if you need a pump for a 2010 Ford Fusion, and I believe they work for different other models, um, I'll have to look up and maybe I'll write in the description uh, how many uh, models of the Ford Fusion that this pump works. Because this pump actually works too for different vehicles also. But check them out they're identical all right let's go put them in look there's not that much it looks full all right we're, it came with a new seal too so we're gonna get rid of this old one and i should wipe it off with some rag first and then we'll put that in where's my rag okay we kind of clean it up a little best we can try not to get any debris in your gas tank we got us a new seal which is nice that it came with that at the price and so now we're just going to work it in and the old one basically kind of went like this. This tab, you want to hold that for me, please? This basically the one this tab on. has to go. This, this tab should face the right front here. of the vehicle. Right there, yep. So like, it should That's going like to go this. face. Exactly. All right, so let's move it in, get it in here, and we'll let the kid hold the camera. Basically, we're going to put it in on an Bring angle. In the uh, bottom and, and motor, and then basically just like that i'm gonna have to press in on it now there's some lines inside that uh that what i was reading online is that that float might get caught on so you, maybe after you put it together if you're not getting a correct reading on your fuel level that could be the cause um i just have to i'm looking in it right now it's hard to show on camera but i don't see the float being near any lines so i think we are good and if i do have a problem i just have to take everything apart which won't take long and readjust it 
and then basically just gotta press it in. Let's make sure what's a hit. There you go, just like that. See how that tab is? This is how we want it. That's how the old one was. Just like that. So basically that float should be right where we want it. I just gotta hold it in and get it. So okay, we're gonna go off camera real quick to get the, it's gonna take two of us to get this uh, clamp back on. We'll be back in a second. Okay, basically, we, one person had to hold it in right here. Kind of got this lined up. And then we already got it started for uh, the new clamp, if you want to call it. And then get your chisel and hammer, just go slow. And then basically just work it back in until you get the, uh, pretty much get this right here, this tab, over this right here. And that's it. All right. Okay, we got it in. You're going to have to hit it, give it a good few whacks on there. Just take your time so you don't break anything. But that's all together right there. Pretty simple. Anyone can do this with some basic tool, guys. Don't need much. So we're gonna we're gonna pop this out. We're gonna connect our fuel line first, right here. And we're gonna make sure we don't push it in. And then this lever right here, kind of like yep. And then this lever just kind of locks in. Mess with it a little bit. It's kind of old, probably need a new one. See, it's popping out. There we go. Now it clicked. There you go. Make sure it's on there. It's snug. Perfect. Now, these are pretty fragile, so when you're taking it off, because you, you know, don't want to replace it or try to find a hunt one down, probably have to go to a junkyard, maybe. Or order one, because everything got to order, it seems like. Just take your time on this, um, and that should be good. But even if you wanted to maybe spray some a uh, little bit of WD-40 on there kind of help loosen that and um, And then basically take our clamps back Let me vacuum in there a little quick real quick. get some of that debris up There we go, and then basically put this back on make sure it's locked the clamp you hear a click That's it guys. Let's hook up the Negative battery. We'll leave everything disconnected in here and um, we'll try it out yeah. Why well, you got the negative disconnected, you can always use one of these and get it cleaned up, clean your connections a little bit. So just a little tip. Might as well right here. Get them anywhere. I need to do some uh, engine detailing, cleaning. Alright. Okay, we got the we got the negative back on, so we're good to go. We got some power. So before I start, I really, instead of cranking the starter, I'm going to just turn the power on. And see. Whoa, sorry about that. And see if you can hear the pit pump kick up. Kind of like maybe see if it primes itself. And I kind of heard some noise. We'll let it do that for a minute. I got to reset my radio now. I'm going to shut it back off. Did you hear it kick on? Yeah, I heard a little noise. You yep. Oh, we'll try it again. The kid will hear it in the back. Make sure it's on. Sorry about the door noise. Yeah, I heard Yep, it kicked on. So, hopefully that's prime it. So, let's start it up and see if we did a good job. What? It's running. We'll let it run for a minute. Make sure, uh, well, with the computer and that, it should run. Um, it should be good. Because of uh, the computers, I think, shuts down if it's not getting fuel pressure. I'm keeping thinking of the carburetor on our old Mustang uh, when my pump went out on that. Um, I still have fuel in the line to basically shut off and there was no fuel in the line. So we're going to let this run for a few minutes. See, I didn't have that much gas. It's almost on E. Right here. So it's pretty accurate. That's basically where I had it uh, for the fuel wash right there. So I think we're okay. It's running good, guys. We we'll just have to clean up our mess. Right there, pretty easy tool to do. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully it uh, helps anyone out that has to change out a, a fuel pump. Plus two, this this pump works on other vehicles. So if you have that, I think, the, is it the Mercury version of this vehicle? Mercury and Lincoln. Yeah, so you'll be able to do basically what we did as long as the fuel tank pump is right there behind the, the seat. As long as you don't have to dry, uh, drop the tank, or if you gotta drop the tank, it's just a little bit more work. Um, but if you can do it yourself, you'll save a lot of money. 
Now, if the cake's not that bad, just make sure it's empty, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it was a great project. So when we were filming this video, it basically took us one hour. And that's with filming and stuff like that. The hardest thing would actually was taking that ring off. That was the only thing that really struggled a little bit. So you're gonna, gonna want to get a big hammer and a nice size chisel to get it out. And the right way to do it would be to get a brass chisel so you don't get no sparks. Uh, but we just used what we had. Uh, just make sure you're not getting no sparks, which you shouldn't, you'll be alright. And uh, and that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, like this channel, uh, subscribe, like, and comment. We basically do auto detailing, auto repair, something like this, what we can, and car shows in our area. So, yeah, I'll have all the links in, in the description below what tools you'll need, the sizes, and the pumps where you can get these on Amazon to save you some money. This is the old one. Oh yeah, and the fuel filter is in these pumps. It could have been the fuel filter clogged up. Uh, so either way, even if you get to it, you're not gonna get to the fuel filter. So what I look, fuel filter is down here on the bottom, which that's where it's gonna be. But this one don't look too bad, what I, what I can see. I might keep this and take it apart and see, and see what it looks like inside. But, uh, but that's about it, guys. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching this. Later.